guys and welcome back to Boots and Bunny Homestead. We're back here in the sewing room today in Casey's Crafting Corner. I've got a special project that I just about started without videoing for you guys. So I wanted to jump back real quick and get this videoed. It's not a how-to, just one of those things that I do that you may be able to do if you have any sewing experience. So I have a friend that has approached me, I think this is the third time now, for me to create her an outfit to wear and what it is is she has three children they go to three different schools and they are rival schools so two of them play and two of them play and then these two play and so she wants a jersey for every single one of them but she wants to wear one jersey and support both teams so what do we do we cut them in half and sew them together <laughs> I've done that two times already. This is the third one, and I wanted to bring you guys along because it's really cool, really neat how this happens and what it turns out to looking like. If I can go back on Facebook, I'll go get a picture of the one she wore last year and, well, she had two of them last year. I'll try to find pictures of both and throw them up so you can see them. And then I'm going to walk you through, not step by step, but kind of just let you watch and I'll kind of talk along as I put this one together. Because I've got to get it done today. She needs it tomorrow. So, I've got them back here. And this is going to be for um, Tennessee Vols. And this one is for Ole Miss. So, since Brothers, um, they, I think these are... I think this is a son and daughter. Yeah, this is a son and daughter rival to schools. But since the brothers played on both teams, she got two jerseys with the same name on the back. Now, this is not their last name. But what she wanted me to do is try to match the names up and the numbers up to where it's, it's half Tennessee, half Ole Miss, but it still has the full and complete name on it. So it's going to be a little tricky. But I'm going to go ahead and start measuring out to where I'm going to cut. And then I've got to see if I can get this zero right here on the back picked off. Because I've actually got to move it on here to match up with the number on the other one. So I've got to do a little beginner work before we start actually putting it together. So I'm going to set you up where you can see that I've already got this one over here. We're just going to cut it up. And remember, I've only got one shot. <laughs> No pressure at all. No pressure. But this is the kind of stuff I love that people trust me to, to do for them and to bring for me to make them cool things. So let's get this one cut up real quick. So what I did here was I just laid it um, in half on the ironing board. I got the middle of the jersey marked and the middle of the front. I can tell it's right here. I can feel the notch through the back. And then what I did is this is in the middle is where I have to cut. So what I did, where's that? Here it is. What I did to give me some seam allowance, because you don't ever want to cut where you're going to sew, because you have nothing left to sew. We're going to cut in the middle here. And what I did was I just laid this. I just eyeballed it with the the number here. You can get all technical and measure from side to side and up and down if you want to. I may, I just laid this down through here, and then I put some pins in it to hold it still. And then I took a pencil and I just ran down through here and marked where I am going to cut. So this is going to be the left side of the jersey. So I'm going to cut on the right side of the middle. That way I have my sewing allowance on the right side of the middle. So what we're going to do is cut this in half. Well, I'm going to cut down, cut down my marked line. And I gave myself a little over an, uh, an inch from the middle just to play with. Like I said, I only got one shot with this. Because it ain't no going out and buying these. She actually had to order these from overseas. <laughs> Alright. There's half. Now, I left these pins in here just to hold it um, stable, and I'm going to go ahead and cut up the other side. 
Now on this one, we're gonna keep the right side, so we've gotta to cut to the left of the center. All right, let's get it all laid out. And, yep, there it is, there it is. Okay. And I'm gonna do the same thing. So we are keeping the right side of this jersey, so we have to cut to the left of the center. So I'm gonna lay this on the center. And their numbers aren't actually lined up right. Don't you love whenever you're <laughs> you're sewing and you accidentally find factory errors? <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever do that or not. I don't even know if you guys sew. Let's see if we can pin this a little bit. Now, let me get a white pencil because I've got a regular pencil there. That's not going to do much good. I've got different colored pencils because you can't use a red pencil on a red jersey. So, I'm going to use a white one. We'll hold it down so it doesn't move. Mark it. Wait a minute. Not on that side. I'm going to mark it on this side. Cutting on this side. Sewing on the other side. I'm not going to cut through the front just yet because I've got to look at something I forgot about. And that's why I pin this, just in case I have to move anything. Okay. So, see I... On these right here, this is vinyl. I can't pick that off. But with this one, it has the numbers sewn on there. So I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to cut through something I needed. So I don't need that zero. Because remember, I can't put it back. <laughs> but on the front, I'm using the one and not the zero. All right. It's cut. No turning back now. Now, does the front... Let's see what the front has on this one. I wonder. Hmm. That's just going to be the way it is. I can't pick that off. Unless I'm gonna cut this old mess out. Just working the ideas in my head. <laughs> got All right, let's go down here in the floor and let's lay it out see what she looks like All right so we've got that side and this side so it'll have to be like that nothing I can do about it because of the the print of this one it's, it's just is what it is unless I might can pick this one off and move it over here leave her Tennessee up here figure out how to do this <laughs> so since the Ole Miss is overlapping 
I want to try to keep the tea as well. So... tentatively put together. <laughs> now we gotta make the back. for some of it. <laughs> I'm gonna go back over here on the saw machine and just zigzag it. So this is a quilting mat and I'm just gonna stick this under here so when I go to pin it um, I'm not gonna pin both sides.
detail to the neck keeping the Tennessee emblem and the Old Miss emblem making the numbers line up the hem is even and the back the neck lines up Manning lines up and then my attempt of getting the numbers to line up because this one is bigger than the other one and the hem is even oh that looked great all right so now i've got a collar tell her it's ready she can come pick it up because she's leaving to go to the game tomorrow so <clears throat> Thank you guys for coming by, and I hope this has inspired some of you sewers and crafters out there that you can do stuff like this, or just let the time pass and you can watch me sew, whichever category you fall into. Or maybe you're just learning and you're interested in just, you know, how to sew, just watching somebody sew. Come back for another project. We'll see you later.